I'm Kate Meyer, a UX specialist at Nielsen Norman Group. One of the most important activities that people perform online is comparing options that are available to them. Comparison tables are a simple, well-known design pattern that can be used to help your users make decisions. Comparison tables aren't just for e-commerce. They can help users compare things like services, membership levels, software features, tuition rates, or locations. A typical comparison table uses columns for the options. For example, the products being compared, with rows for the attributes. Users can look at the attributes that they care about and see how their options compare. Here are three quick tips for making sure that your comparison tables are useful and usable. Only use a comparison table if your users will be comparing five options or fewer. And five items is really the maximum here. In practice, most comparison tables are limited to three to four options. If you have too many options for users to compare, the table format becomes overwhelming, more overwhelming than useful. If users need to compare more than five items, help them decide by providing a different tool, something like filters on a listing page rather than using a comparison table. Comparison tables should have attributes that users actually care about and that will influence their decisions. Don't just throw every piece of metadata that you have into the table. As much as possible, try to define unfamiliar terms for your users and connect vague attributes to something more concrete and meaningful. For example, don't just say that the product weighs 2.7 ounces, but tell users that it's similar to the weight of an egg. Give them something concrete that will be meaningful. Make sure that the values of the attributes for each option are consistent. For example, you don't want to have missing attributes, incomplete information, or inconsistent formatting for metadata. Users notice when the values of attributes in comparison tables are not right. Bad content can really quickly make an otherwise good comparison table totally useless. Above all else, when you're designing comparison tables, try to do the work for the user. Think about what information they need to make their decision and then provide it. 